Hi guys, welcome back to Profusely Lucy, the channel where I'm profusely me and you're profusely you. Today, on the day of recording this, it is my 26th birthday. Oh yes, I am 26 years old today. I'm an old lady. I found my first grey hair yesterday. We're not going to talk about it anymore because I've already moaned about it so much. <laughs> and I don't mean it like genuinely. I'm not genuinely upset that I found my first grey hair. But, you know, the day before your 26th birthday, it's a little bit of a kick in the teeth, isn't it, guys? <laughs> so, yeah. Today, it is going to be a, uh, a Sims build challenge. Um, I've decided what I'm going to do is do, like, um, every room is a different colour. Um, I'm not going to limit myself to packs because I really don't think anybody's going to be downloading this, like, realistically. So I'm just going to have as much fun as I possibly can with it. So we're going to do a random colour generator. Uh, do you know what? Actually, first, let's decide what rooms we want. Obviously, we need a kitchen. We need a bathroom. We need a master bedroom. Um, we need a living room. Let's do a kid's bedroom. Let's do an office. Let's do... Obviously, we've got the garden. Slash landscaping. I don't know if we're going to be able to do all one colour for that, but we can definitely try. Um, let's do a laundry room. When it comes to the living room and the kitchen, it might have to be one colour um because i obviously i haven't designed the house yet so i don't know what it's going to look like um but if i can put the living room separate to the kitchen then obviously i'll make the kitchen a different colour the joys of filming with an open window <laughs> okay so now we know what rooms we want so we're going to need seven colours possibly eight colours in total so the only thing left to do is to find a random colour generator <laughs> Okay, so we're on Google at the moment. Um, other search engines are available. Um, but there is one website. I just want to show you how it works first. Once you click the URL, it gives you a colour. And to change the colours, you have to refresh the page. We're also going to need a random word generator so that we can decide what room is going to have what colour. Oh, I'm over here now. Oh my God, the magic of editing. Okay, so we're on a random name picker website. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop in all of the... Um, you can't see this at the moment because my head is in the way. But I'm going to pop in all of the names of the rooms. Start. There it is. Okay, cool. I think I like how that works. We have a colour generator, we have a number generator. Let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is select a location. Then I'm going to select a colour. Then we're going to jump straight into The Sims and we're going to make that room and then we're just going to add them on every time. <laughs> we're going for chaos. So we're going to pick... <laughs> Kitchen and living room. Good place to start building. Kitchen and living room is going to be... Oh, God, I hope it's a colour that we can recreate in The Sims. I hope it's something simple like red, blue, purple. Because there are a lot of colours you just can't do in The Sims. So, are we ready, everyone? Drum roll, please. The colour is... What the fuck is that? <laughs> is that supposed to be yellow? Is that supposed to be yellow? Or is it gold? Is it brown? What the fuck is that supposed to be? We're going to go for like mustard yellow. Which you think I'd be excited about because that's my favourite colour. But I genuinely don't know how I'm going to make a mustard yellow kitchen. Mm. 
I'm regretting all my life choices. Okay, let's just let's just jump straight into this. Um, I'm not going to think too hard about the, uh, the shape of this house. Um, let's be real, it's not going to be standing the test of time now. So um, yeah, let's just do a box. Let's just do a box with uh, a box on the side, and we'll do a a box on the back like that, and we'll just we'll just. We'll just finesse it as we go. Uh, let's add some lights. Lovely. All oh, that horrible grey glory. Okay, so we're going for like a like a like a baby vomit yellow kitchen living room. <laughs> Feel like we need to start with the flooring. See, that is guys, that is genuinely the closest. That's genuinely the closest colour to that. And that's that's chartreuse. Okay, we're going to keep that in our back pocket. We're going to keep it in our back pocket just so I don't forget. We're just going to we're just going to color the floor like, you know, one of the other shades. And then I I know then if I can't find anything else, I'm going to come back to the chartreuse floor. God, I hope I don't have to come back to the chartreuse floor. Okay, so where's the front of the house who even cares honestly at this point let's just say that this is the front of the house so let's just shove a door uh cool right front door so um i think i mean that to me looks like it could be the office um that because i've just shoved a random box on the side so if that's the office it would make sense for that to come off the living room so if we make this the kitchen Let's see what we can do. Much, much, much later. Yep. It's just those two. Okay, so, I mean... <sighs> Honestly, I think this one's closer. I think this is too vibrant. Yes, yeah, so we're going for a yellow kitchen, which I in any normal <laughs> circumstance would probably be just a little bit more excited about but i am i am not thrilled i am not thrilled about what we've been forced to do here okay do you know, i'm just gonna leave the yellow filter on i'm just gonna leave it on and we'll see what we do, what we get for all of these um you know i still want it to be a somewhat um nice kitchen so i mean of course there's no yellow smoke alarm so we'll come back to that we've got our um we've got our yellow kitchen um let's shove a an industrial extractor fan up there why not let's play off that silver vibe let's get a fire alarm in there because we wouldn't want this to go up in flames why do I not like this? It's a yellow kitchen. Like, what am I not enjoying about this? Something is not right. Like, there's something very clearly off with this kitchen. And it's just, you know, it's 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 causing a whole lot of emotion for me right now. Because um, I normally really love the colour yellow. But I, I can't get behind this. <laughs> the prompt was kitchen living room. Uh, I mean, this is quite a big space for a kitchen living room. I'm just going to make this whole room smaller. Like that. I'm just going to make the whole thing smaller. Oh my god. I know. Revolutionary. Shall I even do that? <gasps> Let's do it this way. Look at that. Look at that. Honestly, you'd think I'd planned it. Rug. Hideous. I love it. Plant. Gross. Yellow kitchen table. There we go. Wallpaper. Let's go with the basic trim. Because then at least I can match the wallpaper to every single room. And, you know, it's at least it's somewhat cohesive in fact let's do the same thing for the flooring i think i'm going to make the executive decision that the flooring is the same for every room 
so there is at least one thing that is consistent but everything else like the wallpaper oh and the obviously the windows and doors are all going to be consistent as well but yeah that's literally it everything else is going to be uh, an absolute mess this is our um our yellow kitchen living room oh my god it's uh, i mean it's bad but i think we all knew going into this that it was going to be bad like i don't think anybody's surprised that it's bad and if you are surprised that it's bad then honestly i don't know what to tell you maybe lower your expectations anyway let's move on to the next color the next room of the house we're going to be working on is bathroom the bathroom will be blue oh, okay that's that's i mean that's going to be an easy one really let's try and get as close to the shade of like aquamarine that we can let's see what we can do with a blue bathroom okay so i think this is going to be our bathroom um right off the bat we're going to go with the standard basic trim um i think that's probably as close no no that's definitely it that's the aquamarine color we're going for oh boy it's gonna be it's gonna be a vibrant bathroom um let's put some nice neutral tile down now we really don't want to overshadow what we've got going on here visually um we're just gonna put like uh, i'm gonna put some like random windows in i'm literally not even really thinking about the placement of windows or anything um right bathroom okay so we got that let's put the toilet here hi guys edited lucy here it's the next day since i filmed this and i just want to jump in to say it's at this moment that i forgot that i had added laundry room to the list of rooms and decided to put <laughs> the laundry in the bathroom okay i just want to i just want to jump in and clarify that enjoy watching um because i want to put the um the washing machine and the dryer in the bathroom because i don't think we're going to have enough room to put it anywhere else really so um i'm just gonna like plonk it over there and then in that corner i think i'm just gonna do like a nice plant because that doesn't seem like an unrealistic thing to want to achieve when you're using one solid colour and that colour happens to be blue. Let's go with that one. Cool. Let's have a nice blue bath mat. That's quite a nice match. It's very um, intense. Um, well, we need a sink. Um and because I decided to go for a double sink, that means now we have to have two blue sinks. Oh, yeah. Double trouble. Gonna love it. Cool. Well, there's the blue bathroom. Okay, next up, we've got... Kids' bedroom. So the kids' bedroom is gonna be... red it's gonna be a red bedroom i think it makes sense for this room to be the kids bedroom so i'm just gonna start by again just like chucking some windows down um i'm really not thinking about the placement very much um i also haven't specified how many kids so we're just gonna we're just gonna say one um like one kid oh do i want it to be a toddler or do i want it to be a child i feel like we're going to get more fun out of it being a toddler bedroom so let's make it a toddler room let's make it fun let's get him a little bedside table let's get him some like pillows that he can like plunk his little butt on and then we'll also get him like a little um bookcase so somebody can read to him let's get him a little red bookcase 
We'll get him a little um, chest of drawers unit. We'll get him some like some little balloon lamp. That's cute. Ah, oh, wow. That just really ties the room together, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna get him a little rug for his little angry his his angry bed, his angry car bed. I don't know why that car looks like it's been wronged. Like honestly, who who did this to you? <laughs> who made you feel this way? Cause honestly, like, let's talk about it. You're obviously working through some stuff and that's fine. But maybe don't like intimidate my child. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, there's the kids' room. Okay, fourth room that we're going to do today will be... The garden and the landscaping is going to be... God, I hope it's green. That's, that's blue. I'm going to say executive decision... That's just another shade of blue and we've already done blue. So let's do a different colour. Okay. I, I can kind of work with this. I think this is vaguely purple. So let's just go with a vaguely purple outdoors. Um, because I forgot that I'd put laundry on the list, I added the washing and dryer to the bathroom. So I've took laundry room off the list. Instead, what I'm going to do is replace that with the external of the house. So for purple purple specifically says garden and landscaping so i'm literally only going to do trees bushes patio things like that um patio furniture and then i'll have a different color for like all of the external part of the house we might have to change the color of the windows i'm gonna make it up to you for losing laundry room we're gonna change all the color of the windows <laughs> so garden and landscaping is gonna be purple there's one purple tree <laughs> We're just going to stick the purple tree in the garden. Um, I think I want some like flowers and some shrubbery. Okay. I mean, I really thought purple was not going to be a very diverse colour choice for this challenge. Like I really thought for a second that um, we were going to struggle with the colour purple. But actually, I think we might have done okay. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm taking some liberties with this purple. Oh, wow. I mean, I take back what I said about me taking liberties with the purple. The purple really is taking liberties with me. The purple is doing something. It's definitely doing something. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, good God. Is that purple or is that pink? I mean, I'm going to take it because, um, honestly, we don't have any other way of doing the wall unless I use that hideous purple picket fence. And I'm just not willing to to do that. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Please feel free to write complaints to the BBC. Um, I don't know what the BBC will do, but you can write a complaint to the BBC. I would complain to the BBC. Honestly, if I saw this... I'd complain. I'm going to do the same on this side because, you know, we're going to make this place symmetrical. We're going to make this place... Um, yeah. I don't hate this. I don't hate this. I don't think I hate this. We're going to get some like purple furniture. Wow. Wow. They can have a little purple uh, elephant slide. They can have a purple basketball hoop. Let's decorate with some cute stuff. Like let's get a butterfly. Let's get like a little like some little log monsters let's get some yeah some little log monsters they're very cute yes i like this that's purple and then oh and then i can put the little ah oh, i can put it underneath the oh look at that that's so cute 
good. I mean, it's totally unnecessary and actually a little bit tacky, but you know, that's the garden. The next room we're going to do is the office. And the office is going to be, no, it's not. That's purple. Pink. The office is going to be pink. <laughs> okay, so this is our office. Um, I'm going to start by finding some pink wallpaper. Okay, this is going to be an office. Obviously, the first thing we want is a desk. Why do we want to put the bookcases down first? Let's do bookcases first. Um, actually, let's do like a really nice stacked IKEA moment. Let's do um, let's do like a one of these things. Rug. We definitely want a rug in the office. Let's get some nice like you know. Let's get some nice drapey curtains. That's quite nice. Yep. Yep. Nope. <laughs> yep. Um, I'm definitely thinking about putting like a sofa because I mean you've got this massive bookcase you might as well have somewhere nice to sit yeah my thoughts exactly I'm glad we're on the same wavelength guys honestly let's go for a nice plant over here a nice plant let's go for that and let's scale it up yeah that's very nice okay there we go there is our pink office okay we've only got one room left to renovate which is the master bedroom so if i meant if i randomize this and it doesn't come up with the master bedroom i've obviously done something wrong what's it gonna be it's the master bedroom and the master bedroom is gonna be green green let's go with green We've not done green. The master bedroom's going to be green. Okay, master bedroom. Let's start by picking some wallpaper. Cool. We're going to go for a nice green master bedroom. Um, do you know I didn't I didn't think the shape of this house out at all. You know, the fact that I actually have a little bump out here to put a bed in is amazing. Like I didn't plan for that. I'm obviously just a, an absolute genius. Rug there is the rug um let's let's do a fireplace fireplace on the wall let's put a mirror above the fireplace yep oh i can have a walk-in wardrobe that's green let's do that yep definitely need a mirror yep hideous I feel like we need another rug. I mean, that's pretty cute. Let's put some here. Yep. I'm just grabbing stuff. I don't even, at this point, I don't even care if it matches. I'm just grabbing things. Like, yep, that works. Can I put something here? To like. Oh, wow. That's it. The room definitely needed. I, uh bright green room divider like that's a hundred percent what was missing there um let's put some plants down i mean why not we're using green as a as a color here let's really like you know let's let's put some plants down i feel like i need something on this wall these are cute it's not exactly what like what i was going for but yeah, why not? It's not like this place is subtle. <laughs> it's not for a subtle person. In fact, you know what? We're going to go one step further. I'm just going to add like a green blind. I like to add blinds to this door. So I'm just going to add a green blind up there. Okay. So that's it. That's all. That's the inside done. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to go back to the living room and I'm just going to add some finishing touches. I feel like the living room being the first room we did... And being really quite strict with the colour palette, you know, I, I mean, with you can see with the rest of the rooms, I really just got to a point where I just interpreted it. I feel like for room one of the build, it just got really neglected. 
So I'm just going to go back and add some like finishing touches. Um, I'm going to change that um, that rug because I don't feel like that rug is yellow. Um, I also don't think this fits. So let's go with the white one. Let's put a rug down under the dining table. That's nice. Let's go for some artwork on this wall as well. I feel like the wall looks very bland. That's nice. Well, it's not, but it is. <laughs> it's nice for the space. You know, it's nice for the space. Again, like if you're going to be sat here just staring at this wall all day, you kind of want something to look at. That one's more yellow. Um, also, now that we've decided that we're having a toddler, I really think I need to add a to like a high chair. So let's add a high chair. Yep. Let's add some like kids toys. Or maybe we could put like a little like toy chest at the end here. End of the corridor. That would be cute. Let's move that door over so that there's more room on the other side for the kids to play. I also want to add like a little bench. That's cute. Yeah, we'll add a little bench in. Right, I'm just going to go through and take out all the random lights that I used for the sake of building. Okay, I think that's all of them. I'm now going to like go through and choose a light that matches. Like I have here where I've used the two green lampshades. I think I'm going to use a, a light that matches every theme. Two very boring minutes later. Okay, so because I had to get rid of laundry, as I said, I'm going to do the outside of the house one colour on its own. I've decided I'm also going to include the roof. Let's see what we're working with for the outside. Let's let's really embrace the chaos that is about to happen. So to recap, thanks to the random colour generator and the random room generator, we have <laughs> a yellow kitchen and a yellow living room. We have a pink office <laughs> We have a blue bathroom. That's probably the most tame out of all of them, let's be real. We have a red toddler's bedroom. We have a green master bedroom. And we have a purple purple landscaping, purple flowers, purple trees, purple outdoor furniture. The only thing left to do is the roof and the wallpaper for the external part of the house. And thanks to our random colour generator, that is going to be... It's going to be black. Black, grey. It's like a smoky grey. I can work with that. I can work with a dark grey. That is literally the only thing out of this entire build that's going to be normal is a grey exterior. So let's finish this off and let's see what the final result is. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is build the shape of the roof that I want. Because this house was like cobbled together... There isn't really a uniform shape for me to go by. There isn't really like a, you know, a really good go-to for building this. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to try my best, really. That looks all right. It's a lot of roof pieces to change colour on, but, you know, we're just going to embrace the chaos I suppose we're just going to embrace the chaos here there's nothing else we can do okay so we're going for a smoky grey grey okay yeah just as I thought we've got a lot of options when it comes to grey um, grey is a very versatile colour it's a very dark grey like a very smoky grey colour that it's given us so I feel like something like this wouldn't work because it's very light um I feel like that's pretty close that's closer but it's quite warm it's a very like cool tone dark grey colour that works right let's see if I can get all of the pieces now for the exterior all has to be grey so straight away, those windows, as nice as they are, I can't make them grey, so they're going to have to go. <laughs> the door, grey. 
The windows, grey. That's more of a dark grey. Can I go dark? No, well, that's probably as good as that one as that's gonna get. Let's be real. Grey, 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 grey. I'm not gonna make the joke. I'm not gonna make the joke. I'm not. I'm just not. Not gonna make that joke. Let's add those windows back in. Um, let's just add some in that are from the same like family as these ones. There we go. Grey. Okay, time for the wallpaper. I have got some bump outs, so let's get a bit creative with the bump outs. Let's make all of this like grey panelling. Yeah, like nice old brick. Like that. And then I'm going to keep the front the same panelling as the back. Which was that one. And there we have it. <laughs> no, we don't. I've missed a wall. There we have it. There is my random colour generator challenge house. So the to recap, the exterior, uh, the walls, the windows, the roof is grey. All of the outdoor furniture, the flowers, the decorations are purple. Then when you come down into the inside, you've got the kitchen living room, which is yellow. The master bedroom is green. The child's room is red, the bathroom is blue, and the office is pink. And there we have an absolute eyesore of a house. <laughs> the layout is actually not that bad. I, I actually quite like the layout of the house. I think it, it definitely just needs a more cohesive um, colour theme going through it. Um, but, yeah, um... Thank you so much for joining me today. As I said, I'm recording this video on my birthday. So today I turned 26 and it's been really nice just to sit down and chill out and do something fun. I love playing The Sims and I've really been enjoying filming videos for you guys. That's it, really. Um, it's now 6pm here in real life and I'm going to have something to eat. Uh, I'm going to go all out. It's my birthday. Let's. We're going to have takeaway. going to have a nice takeaway. Um, but yes, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, like, give me a like, drop me a comment. Let me know what your favourite room of the house was. And if you'd like to see me do more random generator videos. Um, I think you can do like a random pack generator where it just, you have to use an entire pack per room. Um, I can also try and do a like random default room generator where if I gave every default room a number and then we just generate a random number, whatever was in those default rooms per category, we'd have to use. Um, can't resize, can't edit, can't change. So yeah, let me know if you'd like to see some more random generator videos. Also, let me know what you think of the new background. Um, I really like it. I like that you can see my, my little Doctor Who pop vinyls you can't really see the star wars ones but i like that you can see my my little pop vinyl collection um so yeah let me know what you think of the new background uh, and any other comments leave them down below uh you can follow me on twitter instagram um, everywhere at profusely lucy and once again thank you so much for letting me be profusely me and thank you for being profusely you I'll see you in the next video. Bye.